It was 1927 when John Ringling brought his famous circus to town, making Sarasota the official winter home of the greatest show on earth. A once sleepy fishing village on Florida's Gulf Coast was transformed into a vibrant cosmopolitan city. Sarasota's circus heritage is celebrated here from little nods to the past to entire museums about the big top at Mr. Ringling's opulent Bayside estate. But Sarasota's charm goes far beyond its circus legacy. Hi everyone, I'm Chad Gallivanter. Welcome to the channel where you'll find travel tips and guides that won't waste your time. This area is often referred to as Florida's cultural coast because of its abundance of performances, galleries, and museums packed into a relatively small geographic area. And then there's natural beauty from one of Florida's largest state parks to six gorgeous barrier islands that hug 40 miles of coastline, each with their own personality. On today's episode, we're exploring what Sarasota has to offer from the white sandy beaches to impressive museums and everything in between. The gallivanting starts now. Sarasota's Rosemary District is a hip neighborhood with artisan cafes, modern bistros, and if you're looking for live music, there's the Fogartyville Community Media and Arts Center, a really cool listening room performance venue. In addition to live concerts, lots of arts, educational, and cultural events are hosted in this space. This is Sarasota's brand new signature public park along the bay designed to be one park for all. The bay, Sarasota, is part of a larger vision to transform more than 50 acres into a blue and green oasis that preserves and restores natural environment. You can take a stroll down the boardwalk that winds through the restored mangrove habitat, have a picnic on the Great Lawn, or take in a live show at one of the performance venues, or watch a movie on select nights. This park is well maintained and focused on accessibility for everyone with lots of innovative features. The Bay Sarasota is open daily 5 a.m. until 11 p.m. Admission is free. Bayfront Park offers a scenic view of the bay and the city skyline. It's home to the Unconditional Surrender Statue, a 26-foot high statue inspired by the famous photograph taken in New York's Times Square on VJ Day in 1945. Concrete walkways lead to a nice photo walk called the Dolphin Fountain, while O'Leary's Tiki Bar and Grill is a laid-back spot for a drink or a quick bite. Open daily 10 till 5 is the Marie Selby Botanical Garden, 15 acres along the bay that has one of the world's largest collections of orchids and other tropical plants. Different sections of the garden include a rainforest conservatory, butterfly house, and native Florida garden. This is one of two campuses in the area. Current admission prices are on your screen. The 
Severns Court area is a historic district with cute little bungalows covered in stucco, many dating back to the 1920s. The district is now home to eclectic shops, galleries, cafes, and restaurants. Project Coffee serves house roasted coffee, tea, and all day breakfast. Just down the street is the Summer Tap Juice Bar. With its exposed brick walls and comfy seating, this juice bar specializes in fresh smoothies, fresh pressed juices, and a diverse vegan menu. We ordered the Watermelon Lemonade for $11. This combination of watermelon, lemon, strawberries, and lemon zest hit the spot after a few hours on the bayfront. Burns Court is a great place to stroll around and enjoy the architecture and atmosphere. A short drive from downtown Sarasota, Siesta Key is home to one of the most famous beaches in Florida. Siesta Beach has soft white sand that stays cool even under the hot sun. The water is clear and calm, perfect for swimming or snorkeling. While you can't expect this beach to be crowded, we found parking at the big main lot on Beach Road to be painless. There are hundreds of spots here, and best of all, there's no charge to park here. On the northwest side of Siesta Key is a lively area for locals and visitors alike. Siesta Key Village offers a number of casual restaurants, tropical bars, live entertainment, and boutiques along Ocean Boulevard, the village's main street. You can also enjoy the weekly drum circle every Sunday evening before sunset where locals and visitors gather to dance and celebrate. If you're looking for something more quiet while on Siesta Key, you might want to head south to Crescent Beach, known for its Point of Rocks, a rocky formation that's home to many marine creatures and coral reefs. There's also Turtle Beach with its darker sand and abundant supply of shells. On State Street in downtown Sarasota is a place called the Rise Up Cafe. This coffee and ice cream shop is different from other cafes because it's staffed and run by people with intellectual and developmental disabilities such as Down syndrome or autism. In addition to locally roasted organic coffees, this place serves up some really good sandwiches like their waffle grilled three cheese. We couldn't resist giving their custom made in-house ice cream sandwich a try. It was messy, but so good with those peanut butter cookies. Rise Up Cafe is an awesome place with friendly service where you can enjoy delicious treats while supporting a worthwhile cause. Just east of downtown Sarasota is the small community of Pinecraft. This is a popular winter vacation spot for many Amish and Mennonite people from northern states and Canada who come to enjoy the warm weather and relaxed lifestyle. A Sarasota tradition since 1975, Yoder's Restaurant and Amish Village is known for its fried chicken and the incredible homemade pies. Der Dutchman is another casual Amish kitchen featuring a buffet of classic fare, plus a bakery with pies and other treats. Nice gift shop here and a large hotel, the Carlisle, on property as well, which we stayed at and loved. We especially enjoyed our stop in this parking lot with a couple of food trucks. Mama Mandy's Soft Pretzels serves up a variety of fresh pretzels, pretzel dogs, cheese pockets, and more. 
And then over at Scoops and Sprinkles Creamery, you'll find locally made premium ice cream from Yoder's. Don't overlook these two great small businesses when you're in the area. Located on an island in Sarasota Bay, St. Armand Circle was the vision of John Ringling. He purchased the island in 1917 with plans to turn it into a luxury resort. The circus mogul used his show elephants to haul the timbers for the causeway and the circle, even led a parade to celebrate the opening of this project in 1926. But the Great Depression put the brakes on his plans, and the area fell into decay until the 1950s, when new investors revived the area and opened new businesses. Today, the circle is home to dozens of shops, restaurants, and galleries. Myaka River State Park is one of the oldest and largest in Florida, spanning 37,000 acres of diverse landscape in Sarasota and Manatee counties. The park's main feature is, of course, the river that flows through wetlands, prairies, and hammocks. Guided tours of the park are available by boat or tram, weather permitting. For a quick lunch downtown, we recommend Brewster's on Main. This gastro pub and sports bar is known for its extremely large chicken tenders made with pickle brined chicken that are crispy on the outside and juicy on the inside. Complemented by tasty fries and honey mustard, these tenders were flavorful and satisfying. Some of the best we've ever had. The Ringling is a must-see destination for anyone visiting Sarasota. It's a sprawling estate that showcases the legacy of John and Mabel Ringling, the circus mogul and his wife who made Sarasota their winter home in the 1920s. The centerpiece of the property is the Cadizan Mansion, a stunning example of Mediterranean revival architecture and design. The house was inspired by the Venetian palaces that John and Mabel admired during their travels. You can take a guided tour of the mansion and admire its lavish interiors and furnishings. Two buildings celebrate the history and culture of the circus, with displays of costumes, posters, wagons, and memorabilia. Inside the Tibbles Learning Center, you can admire the detail and accuracy of the largest miniature circus model in the world. The Museum of Art houses a remarkable collection of European paintings, sculptures, and decorative arts, while the Bayfront Gardens provide a lush oasis where visitors can relax and reflect. The Ringling is open daily except Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's Day. Admission prices vary depending on which attractions you want to visit. You can buy tickets online or at the Visitor Center. That's it. Some of the things you must do when you're in Sarasota. What's on your list of favorites? Let us know in the comments. We always love hearing from you. From Sarasota, I'm Chad. Hope to see you out there gallivanting soon.